everybody from me and Moo who just rolled in the dirt. Moo, did you roll in the dirt? And you just splash water over your face. But good morning. Today, I'm tired. I am very tired. It's like just before 7 a.m. I'm exhausted. I need a reset day desperately or like a reset morning anyway. And so I thought that it might be fun to take you along on like a typical kind of just got home from vacation, need to get my life and my routine back in order vlog. So that's what we're gonna do. And Moo really wants to be a star of the show this morning. Moo. <laughs> Moo has already started his reset day by going and rolling in the dirt outside his favorite activity. And I am going to take Layla for a walk before it gets too, too hot. So that's the first sort of business today. I don't really know. I, I have so many things to do today that I don't really have a plan. So we're just gonna kind of go with it, sir. So we'll just see where this day takes us. Let's go. I'm actually gonna get proactive and strip my sheets and wash my sheets because I have so much laundry to do. We literally just got home from Disneyland yesterday. Something about getting in fresh sheets is like the best feeling in the entire world. So, plus Moo has been laying in our bed a lot when we were gone. Moo, did you do this? Did you make this mess, sir? You're not helping much. See, I've already been out and had my breakfast, but we're gonna be going to Special W soon. Girl. Right, feeling good next thing on the list is getting this kitchen cleaned up and watering our plants we took care of both of our fur children this morning but we also have leafy children that we need to take care of so typically when we go on a trip either like right before or right after we get back we water all of our plants so we're gonna clean up the kitchen and then water some plants because I will forget if I don't do it right now <laughs> so let's just do that Okay, next up we're gonna do some laundry and I need to unpack for my trip. I haven't done that yet. Um, actually, fun fact, I'm the type of person who unpacks the second I get home. I know that's a controversial opinion, but I just like to get it over with. And I didn't do that yesterday because when we got home, we were so exhausted. We literally just like showered and went to bed. So I need to do that today, but I got a really exciting package in the mail from Brooklinen. I've worked with them before. They are sponsoring this vlog. We have become obsessed with Brooklinen and I am going to be unboxing some of their towels, which I have never tried before and I'm so excited about. So this package has been waiting patiently for me to get home and open it when I return. 
returned and right now Brooklyn Inn is actually having their Memorial Day sale so they're having 15% off everything until June 1st and they don't have sales very often so I would definitely take advantage of it while you can. One of the reasons I love working with Brooklyn Inn is because high quality bed sheets are really expensive and Brooklyn Inn gives you the quality and the comfort at an affordable price because they cut out the middleman which I love. Brooklyn Inn was founded on the philosophy that people deserve simple beautiful home essentials without the luxury markup and and after using their sheets for the last what three or four months now and loving them so much like Drew literally won't let any other sheets go on our bed I'm not kidding so that's why I was so excited to try out the towels like I mentioned and Brooklyn and products are tried and true they have over a hundred thousand five-star reviews which is more than any other online bedding company okay so here we have it here is what everything looks like I ended up getting the super plush towel move-in bundle and I got this really cool color called marled black and I was so intrigued by this I need to open this up Ooh, yeah yeah these feel really really nice these are so thick and so good they're made from 100% Turkish cotton and they also are just like super extra thick for that like spa-esque comfort it's so nice and instead of buying individual items you can save by getting a bundle which is what I have the move-in bundle comes with bath towels hand towels washcloths and a bath mat which I think is a great deal I love that you can shop for these from the comfort of your own home the shopping experience and putting together a bundle is so super easy you have the ability to mix and match colors and patterns for the different bath towels, hand towels, washcloths, the bath mat, etc. Oh, I am so excited to use these. These are amazing. Okay, so we're going to get these in the wash. We're going to wash them real quick. And then I'm going to take like a really nice relaxing spa bath at the end of this. But here's what they look like hanging up in my bathroom. They're so, so cute. So make sure to click my link in the description box below so you can get that 15% off discount during the Memorial Day sale. I cannot recommend Brooklyn and enough i'm so excited here is the bath mat it feels so buttery so nice i'm so excited okay let's get these in the wash and continue on with our day all right because drew's upstairs working i am going to kindly unpack for him as well but i'm just gonna separate all these and then we're gonna you know get our laundry going laundry always makes me feel better always when i get my laundry done i literally feel like a whole new person sorry it's kind of loud in here let's separate this <laughs> feeling much more accomplished. I'm redoing my hair because that scrunchie I was using earlier sucked. And we're gonna do a workout. We're gonna get our bodies moving. I took a lot of steps when we were at Disneyland. I wanna say the first day we did like 24,000 steps and then the second day we did 26,000 steps, which is like 12 and 13 miles on each day. So I definitely got some movement in, but I just wanna get back into my routine, you know? So I think I'm gonna do either like a dance workout or a strength workout, I'm not sure, but that's definitely on the list. workout was awesome and now before I go downstairs and make breakfast I am going to order some groceries actually I'm gonna do it on my phone I'm gonna order some groceries because I fall into this habit when I get back home from a trip where I don't have like a ton of fresh food so then I end up thinking that we don't have food and then like ordering food and there's nothing wrong with that but we just spent a ton of money at Disneyland and also we ate like 
unlimited churros, all that kind of stuff. So I want to get some veggies in me. I'm just going to place a grocery order. We use Instacart. Sometimes we do Amazon Prime. It just kind of depends. Okay, this is really hard to do and talk at the same time. <laughs> all right, we did it. We placed our grocery order. So that's going to... I love having the option to do that because then I can like do things around my house while someone's shopping for my groceries. And then also it like supports somebody else. It gives them some money and a tip and income and stuff. So I just do love ordering groceries um okay so now i think the next thing to do is to make breakfast and then i want to get some sunshine time i'm really craving some sun and i feel like when i'm outside like the older i get honestly the more i realize that being outside and like grounding myself and just spending time outdoors really really fills my cup i am an earth sign so it makes sense but i'm going to make some breakfast and then maybe just like sit outside and read for a few minutes i probably can't do it for too long because today okay it's 87 that's actually not not bad at all like I could probably hang out there for a little bit but as you can see later this week we're looking at like 106 degrees so I'm gonna take advantage of it while I can <sighs> all right in my happy place which is my hammock I have a little side table here for my convenience I have a yogurt I have some cotton candy grapes that my mom gave me yesterday, and I have a perfect bar. Usually I would do my yogurt parfait in the mornings, but I'm out of everything. I'm out of granola, I'm out of strawberries, I'm out of bananas. In my opinion, a yogurt parfait is the perfect breakfast. But I guess I'll just settle for yogurt today. So I have all of my snacks, my breakfast ready to go, I have my phone in case I need it for like when the groceries get delivered, and I have my book. And honestly, in the shade over here, it's kind of nice. Like it doesn't feel that bad at all. There's a very angry flock of birds at the moment. So I'm hoping I don't get attacked because they definitely tried to attack Moo the other day. But we're all just trying to coexist here. I can already feel my battery recharging as I've been going today. Checking things off my list and just accomplishing things really does help me so much with my mental health. Like I am a person as I've gotten older, I have realized who gets extremely overwhelmed really easily. So if I have too much on my to-do list, it really, really, really stresses me out and like weighs on me mentally. So having like a long list of things to do when I get back from a trip really does kind of stress me out, not gonna lie. And I have done quite a bit of traveling this month. You know, I went on two trips this month. I had work stuff, I had friends in town, visits, all sorts of stuff, and it's really nice to just know that I'm home, I don't have any trips planned, so I'm just gonna enjoy it. And then like, doing all of this, and like waiting for my groceries to arrive, and knowing that I'm gonna go take a bath, and like get in my clean sheets tonight, like, it just makes me so happy. <laughs> I'm back inside, I feel nice and sun-kissed, nice and refreshed. I'm gonna make my bed. The groceries are currently on their way, so they're gonna be delivered in like five minutes. So I'm gonna try to get the bed made so that when I take a bath or a shower, I haven't decided yet, probably a bath, I can just like climb into my fresh sheets because there's truly nothing better in my opinion. And then we'll put our groceries away, but first, gotta make the bed. Got the towels out of the dryer. They're so soft, so clean. Yes, absolutely yes. These look so gorgeous. And like, I cannot get over this. How thick and like high quality they are. Also, the texture, absolutely gorgeous. <sighs> I feel like I used to take baths all the time and I would actually like film vlog clips in the bath. I would have like live chats, I would do Taylor Swift recaps, all that kind of stuff. And like I haven't been taking as many baths lately. I think I've just been so 
busy. I think, you know, the year and a half that Drew and I were locked down, I mean, we didn't do anything. We didn't go anywhere. So now that like things are looking a little bit different, I need to make time for baths because it makes me feel really good. So I think I'm actually just going to like turn off my brain and watch some TikToks or maybe scroll through Instagram or something because I have pretty much almost everything on my morning routine checked off of my list. I'm just going to take the rest of the day to rest and recharge and just freaking enjoy doing nothing. Enjoy letting my brain just be on like idle mode you know what I mean I'm kind of looking forward to it <laughs> all right just got out of the bath that was very refreshing I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare and then I think I'm gonna take a nap that sounds really really great I just did a little bit of this ordinary niacinamide treatment and then I'm just gonna use my like moisturizer slash SPF. This moisturizer has SPF 50 in it. So I'm gonna do that, a little deodorant, and then we're good to go. That's pretty much gonna do it for this vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out Brooklyn Inn and click my link in the description box below. Check out their Memorial Day sale where they're doing 15% off. I highly, highly recommend it. Like this towel, these towels are the softest towels I've ever felt in my life, hands down. But I appreciate you being here with me so, so much. I'm gonna get back into some pajamas I'm gonna probably take a nap. So thank you so much for being here and I will see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye